Hi everybody. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesdays. I'm so um, excited about today's session. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, it's another beautiful day and I picked this for you all from my garden. If only you could smell it. It smells really divine. It's a beautiful rose. Um, I love roses. They make me so happy. How's everyone doing? Hi. Hello. I like to say hi to you guys. Um, it's an exciting week for me because it's my little, um, my little middle son's birthday tomorrow. So what, that will be the third birthday that we've celebrated as a family in quarantine. First it was my mum's birthday, then it was my birthday, and tomorrow it's Hart's birthday, and he will be two. So um, I'm super excited to celebrate his birthday. I can't believe that he's two already. So I have a two-year-old, a six-month-old, and I have a nine-year-old, and they're three boys, and it keeps my household super busy but I love it so much. It's, um, it's really such a blessing to have children. So anyway, back to Wellness Wednesday. Um, let's, maybe I'll just burn a little Palo Santo here. So I have my candle. These candles are made by a friend of mine, Holly Star. They're natural candles. And what I like to do is get a little Palo Santo and I burn the Palo Santo. So it helps like, Clear the energy and set the space. It smells so good. Um, that's like one of my little tricks that I, one of my little tools that I really enjoy doing. I do it in the mornings, I do it in the um, night times. Um, so anyway, another little tool is my Empower Yourself cards. And I like to shuffle and randomly pick a card because I feel like that's the message that's meant for you on that particular day. So let's see what we come up with. Smile often and look people in the eye. You meet people everywhere you go, those you know and those that are new to you. No matter who you meet, smile and shake hands if appropriate. Not right now, obviously. And look in the eye when people are speaking. So this is really nice. When I interact with others, I'm present, aware, and friendly. So this is smile often and look people in the eye. We can all do that. Hi guys. <laughs> um, okay, so for my Wellness Wednesday guest today, I'm super excited to have Onkar with us. Onkar um, has been doing kundalini yoga with me for quite some time. I guess it's about five years now and I love how I feel after our sessions. She has a beautiful calming energy. Um, we actually met through uh, Guru Muk's daughter Wa at Golden Bridge Yoga here in Los Angeles and um, you know we she used to live here in Los Angeles and then she moved away and we still continued to practice. Um, and I just love her energy. She's an angel and I'm thrilled to have her join us today. So let me just connect her. Here we go. Let's see, there she is on call. Uh, hold on. Let's see. No, can't find her. Waiting. There she is. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Nice so to, good see to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, I'm feeling that full moon energy today. Yeah, so tonight, is it tonight a full moon? Yeah, tonight's a full moon. I don't know what time, but I know it's tonight. <laughs> What's the full moon in tonight? I believe it's in Scorpio. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't read too much about it, but I usually follow uh, Mystic Mama. They usually oh, yeah, follow. so do I, actually. <laughs> yeah. So what, did, um, what do you, like, how do you feel about the full moon? Does it, like, make you feel any different? I know that mm -hmm. we're all, um, 
I mean, I know that the tides are affected by the moon and us being human and, you know, high percentage water, I wonder, I guess it affects us as well. Yeah, I definitely think so as women. For me personally, it really does. You know, we're made up of 80% water, right? So if the if the oceans are moving and affected, which is scientifically proven, you know, the waters within us are as well. So I like to be in a lot of water. <laughs> as I was sharing with you earlier, I love to take baths, especially in the full moon. And um, I highly encourage it, especially if you feel very emotional, you know, mm -hmm. at this time. Um, especially on full moons, uh, be in the water. It's such a good healer. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be taking a bath tonight. <laughs> Will your sons join you? Yes, they yeah. love it. I know. I always take a bath with my son too at night. Yeah, it's just like their little wind down routine. But yeah, my little six crazy. month old is like so excited about the water. He's like splashing and kicking, and I have to hold on to him really <laughs> tight because I'm like he's gonna try and escape. I know, right? I know my son too. I'll come, and as soon as I get out of the bath, he starts to splash, and he soaks like the whole bathroom floor. <laughs> it's like a swimming pool for him. Yeah, he, he'll be three next month. So wow, him and Hart are close. Yeah, yeah, and Hart will be two tomorrow. It's so exciting. I'll just we'll have to send him a little birthday blessing today. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. I keep talking to him, saying like, "Tomorrow's your birthday. Tomorrow's your birthday." I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm um, making him a little cake, but in the shape of a car, because he's obsessed okay. with cars, so. Oh, I know that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> My son too, as well. It's so sweet. Oh, so tell me, how long, how long have you been practicing Kundalini Yoga for now? Um, I've been practicing for almost 15 years. And oh, wow. I've been teaching for about 12 of those. Oh, wow. I never thought I would be teaching yoga and meditation. It's not something, you know, that I would see myself doing in the past. But, you know, when something just really moves you, touches your heart, you know, you just kind of want to follow that. And here I am. <laughs> here we are. It's definitely something that helps. It's a tool that really helps me. Yes. Um, and when I was, as I was saying to you, I'm putting, I was putting together Wellness Wednesdays and I, First had Guru Mok, and then we had um, Snata on here, and now we have you. I was like, yeah, this has become like a whole um, Kundalini wellness. But I feel like there are different aspects to Kundalini as well, and people can get yeah. a lot from it. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if we were all the same, then why would there be 7 billion people on the planet? You know, I think yeah. that we all bring something to everything that we do just like you do with your business and your family you know we all have different um gifts and so i'm so grateful to be you know on here with you and um Gurmukh is my teacher you know i yeah. started practicing Kundalini at her studio and you know all i did was take one class and it just blew my heart wide open and i just couldn't stop going you know and at the time i just moved to la with my boyfriend and I kind of, you know, looking back, I feel sorry for him because all I would do, I was so into it. I would just go to the yoga studio and go to work. And that was like my life for two years. And then we moved back to Colorado, which I had previously come from. And um, someone asked me to teach. And I, you know, emailed my teacher and I said, should I do it? And this is even before I did teacher training. She was like, yes, this is what you do. Just do it. And so I didn't even think twice about it. So... I started teaching, and then um, about three months later, I took Grimwick's training in Boulder, and then ever since then. Wow. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it's such a great tool to help people, and I've always loved to help people in whatever way I can. You know, I just have a deep place in my heart for humanity and, you know, suffering and, and just trying to make the bet world a better place. And what better way to, than to start with yourself, you know, yeah. and, and you can share these tools just like you're doing through Cora and um, on here on Wellness Wednesday. So amazing. One of us, if we do our part, you know, we can really make a difference. Yeah. Each, every, every little thing that we can do helps. Right. Yeah. Like a little drop of water in the ocean. Yeah, we all have guests to share, so it's like such a great way for us to encourage people to do what they're put here to do on the planet, you know? Yeah. And this this time is a great time to reflect on that, you know? 
So, and what, um, what practice will we be doing today? What is it good for? Like, is it energizing or? Yeah, it definitely will be energizing. Um, we're going to really focus on, it's called new lungs and circulation. So what it's going to do is really focus on the chest area and really what it's going to do is help us to get more in connection with our heart and mm -hmm. also kind of stimulate more circulation throughout the body. So it will be uh, a little physical. So if we have anyone on here that's pregnant, we'll make modifications and kind of guide you along. Okay, great. You ready? Yeah, I'll uh, get back on my mat here and I'll let you guide. I, um, I might just turn off the air conditioning because it's a little loud. Hold on. Whoa, watch out, there are my crystals. <laughs> I have mine over here. You can't see them, but my altar is over here to the right side. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so everyone can sitting in easy pose. And if you can't sit in easy pose, then you can sit um, in a chair with your feet flat on the floor. And, you know, Kundalini Yoga was given for the householder. So, you know, we can experience three to five minutes, 11 minutes of something and really have a shift in our consciousness. And awareness so anyone can practice this and we're going to be doing a little bit of chanting so we'll chant Om Namo Gurudev Namo which means I call on infinite creative consciousness I call on divine wisdom so what we always say if you don't know it just fake it till you make it <laughs> <laughs> right all right let's throw our hands together Miranda. and everyone go ahead and close your eyes And press your hands firmly to your heart center in prayer mudra. We'll inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale completely. Just centering into the earth. Inhale again. Go high and wide. And exhale completely. And inhale to turn in. Suspend the breath and exhale completely. Go take your hands to your knees and just drop your chin to your chest and let's just do a couple of neck rolls. So using your head to guide the movement, breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Eyes are closed. We'll just do this for a couple of moments here. We're going to play some music today by Sanatam that you had on last week and Guru Singh too. Good, and now just switch directions. We're going to go to the left side. And we'll be practicing today to really uplift and to elevate. Direction is fine. 
And if you're pregnant, this is a really great one to do. You're practicing with us right now with a smile on your face as your eyes are closed. Okay, this is a great one for the kids to do too. So 
You can bend your knees slightly if you need to. If you're pregnant, definitely bend your knees. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hug, 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 Couple more. Good, and now inhale all the way up, hold, and exhale down. Go ahead and stretch your body forward. You can inhale up one time, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And then just roll your body up, shake out your legs. And now we're going to play a little sonata for this one. <laughs> Now, same thing. Your legs are going to come up and you're going to get into crisscross. Oh, wow. Now, if you're, you can just do one For a moment. And exhale completely. And now, from here, we're going to move right on to baby pose. And now, we're going to come right into meditation. So, 
Just bring your hands into Gyan Mudra. And begin to meditate on the flow of your breath. So the eyes are closed, become very still. Open your heart and give your best personal prayer. Now inhale deeply, holding the breath, sending the blessings out from your heart, and exhale, and one more, more blessing for your little one heart, inhale deeply, sending him beautiful birthday blessings. And exhale. Go ahead and take your hands, we'll rub them together. And we'll close today with Samadhan's long time son. And everyone, as we sing this, send out the blessings to first yourself and then to each other, to the children around the world. To all. Oh. together. Inhale deeply. great. I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Is there um, uh, anything else you'd like to share with us, Anka? Yeah. Um, you know, we have a website called 40 Day Rituals where we guide people through 40 days of uh, meditation, uh, through Kundalini Yoga and Ayurveda. And at least that's right now specifically what we're guiding people through for 40 days. And, you know, the science behind 40 days is that, you know, it takes 40 days to change a habit. And what we're doing is giving people um, rituals with self-care, or I should say tools, you know, to um, establish new healthy habits. And so I'm uh, really passionate about, um, about that. So right that's now... That's amazing. So you, so people can just go to your um, page now. Uh -huh. Is there a link in the bio? Yeah, in my personal one. Yeah, we have a separate page for 40 Day Rituals, but they can just go to my bio, which might be a little bit easier. Okay. And I'll take them to, I think, the courses right now. We still have one open for disease-free. And then the next one is for forgiveness. And that starts in June, which I'm really excited about. Amazing. So they're 40 day little courses. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, um, we, uh, connect with people once a week. Um, it's a really great way to create community, especially right now. So we do like, um, support groups every week where we zoom in with everyone and check on everyone about the meditation and just about life in general. And, um, it's so great to hear other people's stories because it's really encouraging and inspiring. 
And then people get 40 days of inspiration through email as well. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I feel really grateful to have you on Wellness Wednesday. Yeah, um, you so great to see you. And, so great uh, to see you. So many blessings to heart for the birthday tomorrow. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm yeah, sure I'm excited for him because it's probably like this will be the first birthday that he'll really understand and remember. Yeah, I well, I, I want to see your, um, your cake. The yes, car, the um, car cake. The car cake. <laughs> so I think it's an inspiration for my son. Yes. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the color. His favorite color is orange, so maybe I'll do an orange cake or I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> You'll have to get creative, right? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure the boys will help you. I'm sure Flynn will help you. Yeah, Flynn will definitely help. He's very creative, as you know. Yeah. He's my little artist. Actually, that's a great idea. I'm going to get Flynn. I'm going to call on Flynn for some, some inspiration. Right. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And yes. um, we're so blessed to have you sharing so many like great tools for this time. So Aww, thank All right. you. All right. Have Bye. a wonderful day. You Happy too. Wednesday, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye.